Alright, so we're gonna do... A new game. Oh wow, that's loud. Okay, mine is really loud. Yours is probably not that bad. I turned it up on the side. But we're gonna do a new game. Um, only because I don't think I have one on PlayStation 2. That's okay. Um, there's uh, some information about our character. Alright, so we're gonna go with... Ko is the standard name. I'm okay with that. Yep, we're okay with Ko. Alrighty. And let us back again. Your own story. Make sure you're positive and make every effort. And live life happily, joyfully, and to the fullest. Alright, so okay, so we're playing Azure Trains. I've done this one once before on a do a review, but I didn't really play the game seriously. So it's one of those things that I really do worry about. It. And there's me. There's your dad. And your mom. Uh, oh, a toy. Just me. Huh. I give a toy to this game. And, yep, let's see how that goes. Yep, we're gonna go. I said the guy already kicked that beam. Yep, it's pretty much. This video is so great for us, time period. It really is fantastic. There's a summoning circle. That's one heck of a summoning circle. I don't know how much magical energy would be required. Summoning seal, I think. Crazy. It's been decades since the, it rained like this in this desert of puns. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's one wreath, is one temple. She must be worried about. Let's check out those strange occurrences yesterday. Yeah, not happening. Guy's dead, probably. <laughs> so we're worried about her husband. Worried about dad. We're pretty sure that dad's dead. And dad's monster came back with us. That's got a similar. Yes, it does. Mm. That's famous. Yep. That's 
Why is this familiar with guys collar here? And there's another guy. Because he disappeared. He's dead. Unfortunately. It's unfortunate, but it's true. And I get the little broke thing moving. And I like movies. So now we have a wonderful time here. Um, uh, uh, hey, George. I apparently had the wrong screen up, so I couldn't see your text. Happened to look down and think, oh, wait, there's a red line in my screen. What is that? Oh, that's George. How are you, George? Are you having a good day? And since you ex- Oh, that's so awful. I love how Nico wakes you up. Just drop kicks you in the face. I find this terrible. But you know, uh, today is your 15th birthday. Yes, it is. You become an adult. Yes, I am, apparently. And our little Weedy. Weedy is our little sister. She's awesome. Um, so, here's the deal. This game, like a lot of, uh, creature capture and Harvest Moon style games, has the ability, um, to let you chase down a girlfriend. Let's be fair. Some of the girlfriends are going to be fantastic, and some of them are just going to be flat out weird and um, may or may not be worth chasing. However, Nico is your first actress, and you have a choice. How you treat the girls is how they're going to, if they're going to respect you. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Personally, I like Nico, I think she's fun. So, I'm nice to her, um, but there are others, there's a, a rich witch, there's a shy librarian, there's a bookworm, there's a homebound kid, she's cool, I like her, her or her, she was like, I like to hang out with her, she could go outside, so you have to take your story's adventure to her. Yeah, there's a bunch of different characters that you can have um, relationships with in this game. So. But that's like real late in the game. And we'll probably be doing good to get past the first entrance into the dungeon. Um, uh, yeah. Let's do it. I love this old man. That is not his beard, by the way. The hair growing out there is his eyebrows. Yes. 
his eyebrows dragged the floor. Dude's got serious eyebrows. I dig it. Uh, yeah. Weird eyebrows. Anyway, uh, cause you were you know, never came to the temple at all. Mm -hmm. Um, I hear from Reed that you want to go to the hospital. Yes, I do. Fifteen, you're old enough to do it. Or just a moment, I've got a prayer for you. And we're gonna get a whack. Are we gonna whack? Do you whack us? Yep, you whack us. Hmm. Okay, be patient. Yes. You're done. Uh, let's see, you want to go to the tower right away. Yep, but the tower is dangerous. Do you want me to give you information on specifics of the tower? I don't need it. I'm like, I'm gonna skip the watch. There's no training that could actually talk through it. It's alright with your like, Yes, yes, I'm good. Yep. Uh, here's the magic collar that you used from your father. Name any monster with this on its neck, it'll come to help you up here in the When you find an egg and it hatches, put this on the monster. Uh, with a memento of his father, the great monster to her. As the next challenge. I'm sure. Okay. Alright. Goodbye, old man. In your three foot eyebrows. Uh, that means you can now be able to enter the tower if you wanted to. Yep, that's right. Yeah, or take some stuff. Uh, of course. So the pita fruit and do your best. I love weedy. She's like four. And they treat her like she's four. It's amazing. I don't know if that's what Now here has only a couple of rooms. The monster that's down here, you can't have four monsters, so you're going to get one of them uh, right away. Your dad's monster will appear. And you can go to your mom and she'll give you food. But she also is your safe and your safe place. So, I have nothing anywhere, but that's okay. I do want to save. I want to... Okay, just that too. Okay, cool. See, I told you I didn't have any save files. Alright. I think my save... My save is pretty much full. So I'm going to have to, um... Clean it off. That was over here. The town is huge. You've got... You can explore town. And you do want to do that at some point. Like, this is... I don't know where we are. Where are we? Uh... This is Goshen's town. Goshen South Bay. Alright, so that's the rich kids. And... I'm trying to do this off memory. That's Foon. Not too bad. And this is the carpenter. So this guy will upgrade to her house. I, it was okay. It got better after a while. I can have a rough morning. De you know, dealing with people. That's the restaurant. But I still felt well enough today that I decided to just poke around in a game. Now there's a house around here I want to go to. Which one's this one? That house I want. That's the job. Wait, do I have any money? You can date 
Pro 2, by the way. Bye. Uh, first sells furniture. that are worth going into because you can meet some of your other girlfriends early. When you get like pretty close to the game of the game. Alright, so I'm gonna go across the tower. Yes. Ah, Quinny. Don't be afraid and an enemy. Because I speak the human language, I'm just smart enough to learn human language. Mm, you're going alone? Yes. You can't take this by yourself. Right now, you have to take my car. I smell your collar. Believe it or not, I once used to be familiar for a freight camera. Yeah, my dad. That's best way, and I'm very lucky. So, I have nothing to do. But I can't lure myself to become the mon a monster. Now. They're just, yeah. It's kind of like. Sure, you can go. Okay, from now on, I'm your, I'm your pet monster. Get me in it. One is fine. not kind. Yep, you know, just there's some set stuff you do. But it was not kind. It was horrible. Uh uh in the towers when you're in elevator moving up to the next level. It erases the record at the tower from the adventure data you load up. So never ever press the reset button or turn the machine off. All, you, uh, all you've done will be real. Yeah. Um, handle the data with extreme caution and trouble. Alright, now you have to decide the information line. Push the, yep, okay, I don't care. We're fine. Um, the 
that makes more sense. Uh, this is you've been for showing on the map. This is just always fun. And I got a few videos you may like coming out this week. Oh, cool. I'll take a look at them. I tend to look at everybody's videos on their list that I, that I follow. I just don't always um, view them due to time. I can't. And this conversation is so annoying. Alright, so that's a fireball. in this game are actually useful. So like in this case we have fireball here but we don't know we don't know um, how many shots it has. Uh, oh, sword. Cool. There's the sword. And magic's really cool in this game because it allows you to Attack properly. Yeah. All right. So items, proper sword. You don't know what items are until you put them. So like this is standard proper sword too. Because they give you these weapons, it's not that big of a deal. This first floor is like next. After this, it's not fixed. I know. Just trying to get through all this. Because, like, the old man has, like, a five minute epilogue. And Coin has, a uh, another four, five minutes. Oh, this is a lot here. I think it's ten minutes because this first one. I know. I can change the. It's great. It is great. You can um, hatch them in the dungeon, but you don't want to. They're better off to take home and sell if nothing else. Magic attack, physical attack, and so on. You actually can carry multiple familiars with you. Um, but you only have, but you don't have to have them all out at once. So if you get some, you know, when you get real late in the game, you got some hack up familiars. You don't always want to pull them all out at once. Because they're, they'll waste their magic and such. However, the familiars are the only thing that levels up in the dungeon. Your level goes up, but you're reset to, to level 1 every time you enter. The monsters keep the levels. that goes with you 
you just put it in the bank or sell it or whatever. But... Yeah, we don't want to trap. Got a right to get into the passes. Or you can eat, them, eat something. MP is be consumed just by walking. And once that's gone, you won't be able to put it off yet. I can't move. Be able to up right now. That's how many arrows are. HP players. Oh. Yes. Give him food. Uh, press L2 or R2 to respond to the color. Hello, call. Must be anything. There are different types of bugs. Now we can, I guess we're gonna go. Do you want to quit? No. You have to be careful about that. It looks like you quit out of the game. You have to walk back in. Um, level 1 is a nice little random level. After you progress through the first time in the dungeon. The um, level two there's a um, I think it's level two is a story room. Nothing fancy. And that particular story room allows you this That's where you talk to like your girlfriends, you talk to your companions, and so on and so forth. So you you want to you don't have your, your choice. It happens every time. So every single time. Oh my goodness. Um. Uh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. That's it. Fail. That was unfair. Oh my goodness, that was unfair. That was horrible. Horribly unfair. <sighs> Thank you. I needed to wake up call. Wow, that was unfair. Well. You have to pick up your monsters like every day, every day. So, you have to remember to do that. That was just. Uh, it's gonna freak him up. Don't mention it. You'll never get up until I have a good kick. Yep. So, that was the first run of the dungeon, and honestly. Um. It's meant to be unfair. That first trip is designed to be unfair. It's designed to give you a real quick tutorial, how you do this, how you do that, and then show you what happens when you, when you die, because you will fail. 
It's just, it's horrible. Hello, Wolf. How are you doing? Yes, as your dreams. Probably one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games, to be honest. Yes, that is Azure Dream. What do you think it was? Azure Nightmares? I don't know. I guess that this is this is still my favorite. I know I've played many hours of it, but the... I don't know if I ever actually beat the game. It's so brutal. It's... I think it's actually longer than most of the... Um, like, Mods for Rancher or whatever games. Honestly, I think it's one of the longest games of this type. Mainly because it's just, not only is it just long and brutal, but there's just so many options. And luck has more to do with do you succeed than anything else. So how are you doing, man? Over there, TJ. You having a good day? Alright, that was just some money. Well, that was funny. So, we got a friend. Now that first pass in the dungeon, I've been able to get... to been lucky enough to finally win Crystal. And if you can manage to find a wind crystal, then uh, you're okay. Because you can get your first sword or whatever and then get out. Before you die. Not always. Normally you die. But every once in a while you get lucky. Of course, there's sometimes that I'll just like go to the elevator in this game. I might find the elevator early, and then I'll just unleash my pets and let them run around the world. So they can level up. Especially if I've already got a lot of items. Shield on. That's like, at least it's something. But, you know. Alright, going up the elevator. Elevator, yes. Just gonna remember not to click too quickly or you'll end up quitting out. You didn't have a chance to that. Alright, so we're on the second floor, and this is the story floor. It is always the story floor, it never changes after that first encounter. Uh, okay, so, you know, with gosh. Hmm. Should I be nice to him, or be rude? Uh, let's be nice. Yes. I could have been rude. I was like, you need to be modest. Mm, you don't really want to know what I was actually thinking. Because I could have been very rude. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite uh, games of this style. 
It's simple. It's elegant. It makes sense. It's only hard if it's brutal. So, and it's being just bad to do. Like right now, we have. He'll just slaughter everything along the way. Yes, he'll be back. At some point, he'll wander back to me. Yeah, now that I actually have a decent, I have a decent shield, I don't have a sword. Uh, what do I got here? Two spots. Okay. That's useful. Uh, that's bad. Yeah, I know. I really don't want to deal with this guy. Stupid face boy. They're useful. I mean, they're, they're useful as, uh, monsters. See, how you come back? It's just a matter of where he was heading. I want to try and take this guy out as fast as we can. He hurts. So does this guy. This both hurt. Oh, that way. So this game, um, there are a very large number of floors. Without a wind gem, we're basically doing nothing here. Except leveling up. Wait. And while I don't mind leveling up the monsters, I do need to do that. It's not as good when you can't take care of weapon. With you. 
because you kind of need the equipment to make your future run easier. Now once you start hitting uh, wind crystals reliably, it's not too bad. It's a uh, definitely an easier time once you get wind crystals. Worried so much because you can leave whenever you want. You always keep your gear. If I remember correctly, there are uh, different ways to exit, like the old fruit vanished there and. Play air escape tower. So you sacrifice a pet and you get out. I don't remember if um, it's a temporary or permanent vanish. I don't remember. So it's like, do you really want to vanish your pet? And the answer is probably not. Old fruits are good to sell. Wind crystals are the best answer, though. We haven't found one yet, so... Hopefully we find one soon. That would be nice. Probably more than one. Yes, kill the balloon. Or has a chance to wake up. Wow, he really he must have been really tired. Because that balloon did not want to wake up. Oh, this is bad. That's a wind sword. I know, I'm trying to get around. So let's... The advantage is every time your monster kills something, it gains the health, so... Oh, that's bad! Really bad. Because now my pet's gone. I really don't want to lose. Because I got that orange egg now. And I don't know what that would give me. But I'll never know if, um, Types 
Tempers and Shield. So like I could hack the orange and turn it into a live monster and then use the orange berry to get me out. Because the orange berry will let me. And it's not really a loss because the monster being used. Is a temporary monster anyway. But if I'm gonna do that, I'd rather use one that is that fun. I am done. I am done. I leveled up. That is not how I expect my hit points. Zek is the familiar pal. Alright, so I guess we somehow that maybe I can survive this. Okay. I'm Possibly gonna live? I have three health. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay, so that's our own barrier. Now I really wish I had. Use that monster as disposable, but they don't want to. Right. Oh my goodness. Um. Earlier. Hatch that orange, then use it to escape. Oh well. Well, that puts me at the bottom of the barrel. All right. Good morning. Oh, here. As always, when you go back to town, you'll find our stuff. So if you don't 
different user. Monsters might. Unfortunately. But since I'm not going to be on much longer, I think I want to explore some more. I know as you go through the game, more people show up in town. So, if you don't see somebody, like you, you look at the uh, profile, and you see like, oh look, there's a character. And you can't find that character in town, because they may not be there yet. Like later on, the library shows up. And when the library shows up, you can talk to the bookworm. But until the library shows up, you can't talk to the bookworm. I don't think shows up until after you get the quest to help the doctor. And then she shows up. It's a, it's a definite thing. Ah, here we go. Here's, here's something. Ah, uh, hi there, Puffy Lips. I don't know if I'm, how I'll be called Puffy Lips. I too started to adventure in the tower, magic training. I should be called Monster Chamber, true to my legend and family name, Brad. Yay. Um, must be nice to have me sell this. Ah, whatever. She can be a grandma. I always find her to be a little too good for my taste. But you can date her if you want. She does soften up after a while. I am, or should be, a great professor of archaeology. Why do you come here? Uh, tell me about the tower. Monster tower. There should be something in that tower. Uh-oh. Watch this. This is going to be funny. Tell me it's going to be funny. I can't wait till another time. Yeah. Um... shows up. I think she helps him out. Oh, the pool! Okay. Yeah. Alright. A thief stole the water metal. Went after him, but he ran into the tower. That way he can't use the pool. Okay. What are you talking about? Let's do this one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Look at this. Yes, the pool in the, in the summer. Well, it's uh, Miss Boya. It's summer year round, and the pool is filled with girls looking gorgeous in their swimsuits and bikinis. It's a fun, fun pool. However, as you can see, the water is dirty. Keep the water clean, the water metal is neat. The, but the water metal was stolen. The metal is made from metal with magic powers, which is what keeps the water clean. Since the pool is made with, uh, with the water metal in mind, it is not made with tools to replace water or any other method to change the water. Without the water metal, there is no way. I'm certain it was Pickett that took it. He lives on the 25th floor. He's a demon that loves stew. And I come to the city from time to time and I call stew. Okay. Sure. 25th floor. A little above my pay grade. 
I'll give you an eternal passport for life with unlimited access to the Wookiee. Wookiee pool. Uh, leave it to me. I will... I don't know what I'm How it the 25th floor is gonna taste fun. Okay, now, this logo looks more like an alien than it does a bull. Let's get a Kaylee and find a hatch. Okay, anyway, anything else in town interesting before we bugger off for the night? <laughs> this is the temple. Right, here's the temple, there's the old man with the, the eyebrows of three feet. Mm, no, I think that's it. Well, I think that's all I'm gonna do today. <coughs> As always, I only have a lot of power during the week. So, I don't get to play too long. That's not very fun. Well, I Mr. Isaac, who lives in the front of the pool of the pond, just dropped by. Seemed to be in trouble. Okay, you can talk to him. Okay, let me go see what Mr. Isaac is first. Oh, I can... I can kind of... Um, uh, how do we get out of the pond? Um, there it goes. That's the restaurant. I am not buying meals. That's fun. And blacksmith. Going on. So the house is expensive, but it's okay. I have nothing to do. We built a wrecked up house that was ruining the scenery of the city. Okay, weird does. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure which. Go to the uh, 25th floor. 
And shoot, I gotta go to the top of the tunnel after my dad. But, you know, semantics. Anything else, Mom? Uh, no, actually, I want to be able to ask, but go ahead and say. Save data. Alright, so this is Azure Dreams. I make, I know I'm going to do this one, uh, some more. I sort of going to do it like every Monday or whatever. Um, we'll see. Co number of game 20. I mean, an hour and I got nowhere. That's pretty normal in this game. So, but once you get progress, you have to do more. So, anyway, um, thank you for visiting and have a good day. And look forward to more of the different weird streams that I'm going to be doing. These little short streams are uh, when I have time. So, thank you for visiting and have a good night.